In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, about five things I wish my teacher uh, knew about uh, autism, or more specific, uh, five things someone with autism uh, wants you to know uh, about autism. So let's get started. The first thing that people with autism want to know about, uh, wants to uh, show people what it's like to have autism, is I can help you. Can you help me? So that's number one. I can help you. Can you help me? A lot of people uh, with autism, myself included, uh, welcome help of any kind. Um, they they really uh, they really want uh, that kind of. They um, they are desperate for help and would do anything to receive that to help. And and sometimes it is quite uh, difficult to show how much they really want this assistance. So that's the one thing uh, that people uh, I believe uh, would uh, would know about autism is I can help you. Can you help me? So it's it's one of those classic examples of help me so I can help you sort of situation too. So let's do that together, shall we? Number two, I have so much to say, I haven't figured out how to express it properly yet. I'll say that one more time. I have so much to say, I haven't figured out how to express it properly yet. Yet, as in, in the moment. Uh, they want uh, they want to express um, uh, express what they uh, what they have in, so going inside your heads. Uh, they uh, yeah, because I believe the majority of autism they got so much things to say they just haven't uh, figured out how to do it properly. So let's help them out. Let's help them uh, get those words out um, so that they can uh, so that they can work uh, for uh, for everyone else, including for themselves too, in order to express these feelings, uh, whether it uh, be verbal communication or through art. Because I've always been, I've been a huge, a humongous uh, art advocate, and um, and I believe that uh, that once you start with uh, with a project of art, then you can get those expressions out much more fluidly. And you never know uh, what people might enjoy. All you gotta do is just give it a try. So, uh, so I have so much to say. I haven't figured out how to express it properly yet. It will come eventually in time. Number three, my skills are uh, on other things. Just not on the social part, unfortunately. So, number three, my skills are on other things, just not on the social part, unfortunately. In science, I've learned that uh, that people with uh, with autism inside the uh, inside the mind of autism, there are so many uh, uh, extraordinary things that go on in their brains. It's just a little uh, tiny uh, part uh, inside their brains. Uh, in uh, involves uh, the social um, the parts, the social areas, the, the the parts of the brain that that gives you uh, uh, social interaction. That part's still uh, slowly in development. Uh, it can take a year, and two years, or maybe even a decade to uh, to grow that social social parts. Now I will uh, I'll be uh, the honest person here again, saying that uh, saying that sometimes even I kind of can struggle with the whole social part uh, stuff too. But I always say keep trying. I'm never I'm never the giving up type. Just keep on uh, working. Keep on uh, trying with that social part uh, too, and. And to get those uh, words out much more fluently and much more smoothly than uh, than is before, because you know I've uh, I've started with the whole uh, forgetting words and you know the whole uh, the history of the stutter. So that's why that's why I just keep on uh, trying to keep on uh, working to see what works. And you know back then I've had uh, some uh, embarrassing moments uh, involving social situation, and I can go on and on about uh, about how much I want to take everything back. Uh, but that's not really quite the priority at the moment. I just want to, you know, stick to the present and just uh, move on to the future. <laughs> and uh, and of course, there is always uh, there is always room for uh, for recovery. And we can all uh, work through that together. So so uh, you know, if you ever had any of those moments, just uh, just keep in mind that you're not alone in those uh, in those areas. So so uh, yeah, just work with me. Just um, just uh, let's work together, shall we? Number four. Everything is terrifying and simultaneously exciting. What do I mean by, that, uh, by this? What do I mean by everything is terrifying and simultaneously exciting? Well, I will tell you that um, that it is a common it is a common study that uh, that a lot of people with autism they are not used to uh, to changes every time. It's the whole idea of being uh, of being flexible whenever you see. Uh, whenever you see a change that go uh, that goes on in the world, I always give the uh, the proper example of uh, multiple times where, you know, where, uh, where back in kindergarten, I always uh, like to hang up my coat and my uh, backpack uh, on a single hook, and every time that hook is being used, I would be completely lost and uh, not know what to do. 
I know I've, uh, I know I've um, told this story multiple times, and I will tell it to you again. <laughs> and um, and because it's uh, because it's uh, true, you know, when uh, when that hook is being taken, I wouldn't know what you know, what to do. And and then it comes to the whole conclusion that it's okay to use uh, to use different hooks in these um, in these uh, areas, and uh, that can be that can be terrifying, you know, just the whole idea of change. And um, and when change happens, it can be a terrifying experience. But at the same time, there will be a there will be a time in layer on the future where whenever change happens, it will it will become a much uh, more exciting experience. Uh, there will be a time where you may want to welcome change um, here and there too. You want things to be different. You want to um, to expand uh, the you know, the broad exciting tastes that that go on, whether it be food or, or movies or music. Uh, so uh, so just get out there and explore. I uh, I did remember writing uh, writing a um, writing something uh, about exploring the world, and um, and is uh, and it's uh, true whether it be in the backyard or or in the city or or throughout the entire states or even in the country, uh, in the entire nation. Just just go out and look around. Just go out and explore, meet some new people, and uh, and that can be a very exciting experience. And uh, it's true. It's a very big. A very big change uh, when it comes to these uh, areas, and with these, um, the big change of uh, of discovery and and adventure, and um, and it's true, it can be quite uh, quite uh, nerve wracking. It can be uh, terrifying, but at the same time, it could be a very um, exciting experience. It's uh, it just kind of depends on how you on how you look at, it. and um, and you know, just because some things are a little different doesn't mean that you have to that you have to be alone in these such uh, on these. Areas you can um, you can enjoy these moments and share these uh, experiences with a friend if you want to or a family member. So um, so so that's why I always um, so that's why I always kind of like to um, like to encourage is just uh, is just go out and look around, look out, um, uh, look around, explore. So everything is terrifying and simultaneously exciting. That's uh, that's number four. I would say. And finally, number five. This is something that uh, that you probably hear multiple times, and I will uh, and I will uh, be glad to say it. Uh, but uh, but I will say it in a way that uh, that makes it fresh and exciting. So here's number five: treat me like everyone else, and I will learn how to socialize by example from you. So that's the part where I said uh, you probably heard this uh, many times. This uh, the whole idea of treat me like everyone else, and uh, and it would be easy to just uh, to just end up by, by that. But I want to um, do something a little bit different, something to expand on that message. Treat me like everyone else, and I will learn how to socialize uh, by example from you. I always like to say that I get uh, most of um, uh, most of the skills, these social skills I um, that I learned from from my parents and teachers and um, and peers when I was in school. I've always liked to say that that it's okay to be what I like to call. A mimic. You look at people, what they are doing, and try to replicate what they are doing. Whether it be you know, whether it be mannerisms or manners or uh, or knowing what to do in certain situations that tend to have happens. Like um, you know, like when you go to a baseball game, what do people usually do when they go to a baseball game? When you uh, go to an arcade, what do people do when they go into an arcade? You no, know, or um, or a stoplock uh, or or what they call it a. Uh, a crosswalk. Uh, what do you see people do? When you see the stop sign, uh, and the people stop. When you see the walk uh, sign, that's when people start walking. So it's that kind of mimicry that's, that I always like to, that I like to encourage other people of uh, of doing. It's not the kind of uh, mimicry where uh, where it becomes so obvious and people feel uncomfortable for that kind of stuff. But uh, but it's simply just um, just watch, observe, absorb, and try to and try to replicate. For ways and to being socially uh, acceptable for that kind of stuff too, and it's more of a safety reasons too, because um, because you don't want to, you wouldn't want to um, you know, want to uh, climb uh, climb up on the up on the stadium or up on the roof or anything like that. You don't see other people doing that, and a good reason too, because otherwise you may lose your balance and um, and fall onto the concrete, uh, you know, from a skyscraper. You certainly do not want that now, do we? <laughs> so, um, so that's just uh, that's uh, just one. So these are just some examples of uh, of mimicry. Uh, so learn how to socialize by example, 
and and I get uh, a lot of me because I've always wanted to follow the examples of my parents and and you know I watch them I absorb them I observe them and I absorb uh, what uh, what they do when they're talking to one another and that's how I was able to uh, to use this kind of knowledge uh, to uh, to make it work um, in uh, for myself I'll make it work for for my terms so treat me like everyone else and I will learn how to socialize by example from you. So let's go over these uh, over over again. <laughs> if I could say get the uh, get the notes right. Number one, I can help you. Can you help me? Number two, I have so much to say I haven't figured out how to express it properly yet. Number three, my skills are on other things, just not on the social parts, unfortunately. Number four, everything is terrifying and simultaneously exciting. And finally, number five, treat me like everyone else, and I will learn how to socialize by example from you. That's what I kind of mean by it. treat me like everyone else. Uh, because, like, uh, uh, because uh, you, know, it's, uh, you know, still um, uh, still people. We're just, uh, you know, it's, uh, people with autism. They just, uh, just kind of uh, do things a little differently. And, um, and they would love to. Uh, uh, they would love to uh, do whatever it takes to, you know, you know to be social and to, and to help others as well. All just needs is just um, uh, all they just need is some extra guidance. So let's uh, so let's do our part to uh, to give them guidance. Now, I'm not the kind of guy that speaks uh, for everyone else or uh, speaks for uh, for anyone with autism, uh, but this is just mostly my personal perspective that um, that uh, that worked for me. Or you know, I guess you could say yeah, I guess you could say uh, uh, that I guess uh, I was probably saying. And maybe there might be a chance uh, where uh, you probably could be feeling the same thing as well. If, um, if it is otherwise, and I like to hear from your story as well. We like, uh, we like all kinds of information <laughs> it's, uh, in order to uh, make autism much more workable. Uh, I do not believe in limitations. I only believe in adjustments. Uh, and, uh, and, that's, uh, and that's all there is, uh, there is to it. There are no limitations, only adjustments. Uh, so, uh, so... So that's what I would uh, say of those uh, of those uh, five things. Uh, uh, thank you all very much uh, for uh, for joining, in. and uh, until next time, I will uh, I will see you on the next video. There are no limitations, only adjustments. All right, keep uh, keep it real, everyone.